All right, you geniuses, we're looking at exercise 10.7 today. I'm just gonna do questions one and two for you. So question one, I've got to complete the square uh, to find the coordinates of the turning point. So I'm gonna take my x, I'm gonna half that six, I'm gonna square that, I'm gonna subtract nine, um, and then I will say that my coordinates should be, of my minimum point, should be at three comma minus nine. Okay, now, I can also uh, use differentiation to find the minimum point. So I can do dy dx. Um, in this case, it's going to be 2x minus 6. And I can say that uh, the minimum point has a gradient of 0, right? Um, so a minimum point looks like this. And the gradient at that point is 0 because uh, there's no change in y. So I'm going to go 2x minus 6 equals 0. So 2x equals 6. So x is equal to 3. That is where the turning point occurs. And to find my y value, I chuck that 3 into the original curve equation, this one here. So 3 squared minus 6 times 3. Um, now that's no, uh, 9 take away um, 18, which is negative 9. So 3 comma minus 9. Now in this case, completing the square is obviously the quicker method, um, because we got it in one essentially two steps really. Um, but that's not always going to be the case. So it's good to know both methods. Now we're looking at the second uh, question here. And we've got this diagram and we want to find the coordinates of the minimum and maximum points. So first of all, we're going to go dy dx. We're going to drop the power down so it's going to become 3x squared plus, we take this coefficient, multiply it by that power, so it's going to be 6x and then the last one is going to be minus 45 because the power is 1. 1 times minus 45 is minus 45. Now, uh, we know that the these have a gradient of 0, both of them. So we're going to set this equation equal to 0. Now, I hope you can see that we can divide everything by 3 there. Like so. Um, now, let's see, uh, numbers that multiply to make minus 15 that add to make positive 2. Looks like we can factorize this, I think. I think it's going to be plus uh, 5 and minus 3. So the x coordinates equal 3 and minus 5. Now to find the y coordinates. y equals, we're going to pop these values into the original curve here. And what do we come up with when we get that? Well, we get 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 times 9 minus 45 times 3, which is negative 1. That does not sound right. I, I got a massive number there because I added an extra 0 in. Okay, um, I think it should be minus 81. Let me just do a check on that. So 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared, so it's 3 cubed, 3 cubed, minus 45 times 3. Yes, I think it's minus 81. And then the other value is if we chuck in the minus 5. So we get minus 5, uh, so that would be minus 125, plus 3 times 25, minus 45 times negative 5. And I'm getting 175 there. So if I'm correct, I hope I am, um, this one here is at 3 comma minus 81, because those two pair. And the other one uh, is at minus 5, 175. This is minus 5 comma 175. All right, well, I hope that's helpful to you all. Let me know if you're having any difficulties with these. I'm totally happy to help. Uh, just let me know on Thinkwave. Take care.